Autoland is something that has changed the way you travel. It was designed to make landing possible and visibility too poor to permit any form of visual landing. Although they can be used at any level of visibility, you have probably noticed that there is a smooth flight and that you will be descending downwards towards the airport, and then they might say that it's cloudy. We may start to wonder, how will they safely land out of those thick clouds? Well, you can thank Auto Landing for that. Autoland capability has seen the most rapid adoption in areas and on aircraft that must frequently operate in very poor visibility. Airports troubled by fog on a regular basis are prime candidates for Category 3 approaches. Including Autoland capability on the jet airliners help reduce the likelihood that they will be forced to divert by bad weather. Autopilot has been around for a long time, being used back in 1914, and in 1937, pilots were experimenting with automatic landing systems. It didn't really get popularized until the 1960s when British European Airways would use this on their passenger jets. This is often done due to the bad conditions there, and it maintains the flight schedules. Every modern airliner has this nowadays. A typical Autoland system consists of an integrated localizer receiver radio to receive the localizer and glide slope signals. The output of this radio will be a deviation from the center which is provided to the flight control computer. This computer which controls the aircraft control surfaces to maintain the aircraft centered on the localizer and glide slope. The flight control computer also controls the aircraft throttles to maintain the appropriate approach speed. When there are clouds all around an airport, the pilot will find the path using the instrument landing system. The ground transmitters will produce a singular radio beam straight down the runway middle, and from there angled from the threshold at 3 degrees. During this, the display on the panel will show pilots whether the plane is near the left or the runway, and this is a localizer beam, and from there, it will be either above or below. In order to complete a good and safe landing job, the pilots need to be able to see the runway at different decision heights that are above the ground. The minimum horizontal visibility is specified, and this is called the runway visual range. This is measured on the ground, and the information is given before they begin an approach. At specific decision height, if the pilots aren't able to see the runway environment, they use the lights that are there, and from there, they try again or go to an airport with weather that's better. The minimum altitude to an approach is about 200 feet above the ground, depending on the location and the surrounding terrain. With the right equipment, they can actually drop that to 100 feet or even a little bit less. So the next time you are in a plane, and you notice that they are able to land this super easy, you will want to thank the instrument landing system, and Autoland for their help. This, in turn, will help with landing long distances, even in the worst of terrain, so that the pilot can keep the crew safe. That's it. Please share your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.